Australia, situated between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, is an intriguing landmass that serves as both the world's largest island and smallest continent. Its unique geography features a wide range of landscapes, from lush rainforests in the northern regions to sprawling deserts in the vast interior. In today's video, we will go over the 12 best places to visit on your trip to Australia. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, tell us about your travel experiences in the comments below. Make sure to watch till the conclusion of the video so you don't miss out on our bonus tip. Number 12. Canberra Canberra, the capital city of Australia, was originally established as a planned city in 1913. Today, it has transformed into a vibrant and attractive destination that sits in its breathtaking nature reserves and low-lying mountain ranges in the northern region of the Australian Capital Territory. While once dominated by politicians and civil servants, Canberra is now home to world-class museums, art galleries, national monuments, and a thriving nightlife scene, thanks to its large student population. Despite its youthfulness, the city boasts an array of fascinating historical sites related to its parliament and governmental institutions. Moreover, due to its remote location and rural setting, Canberra is an ideal place for outdoor enthusiasts who love hiking and cycling. The nearby nature reserve offered plenty of opportunities to experience scenic trails while enjoying picturesque parks, gardens, and human-made lakes scattered throughout the city. Number 11. The Pinnacles the Pinnacles are a stunning collection of limestone formations situated within the Nambug National Park in Western Australia, near the small town of Cervantes. These impressive pillars remained largely undiscovered until 1967, when they were protected under a reserve. The Pinnacles rise dramatically from the desert floor and number in the thousands, resembling weathered tombstones that make for an awe-inspiring sight. The constantly blowing sand from coastal dunes adds to the surreal landscape. Although there is an ongoing debate about how these unique shapes were formed, it is widely believed that they originated from limestone derived from seashells during a time when the region was submerged underwater many millennia ago. Today, the Pinnacles have become a popular tourist attraction, where visitors can spot western grey kangaroos and other wildlife, such as emus, dingoes, and honey possums between them. Number 10, Melbourne. Melbourne, the capital of Victoria State, is Australia's second most populous city. It is situated near the southeastern tip of the country on Port Phillip Bay, making an important port and cultural hub. The city's high quality of life has attracted people from all over the world, resulting in a diverse population that contributes to its unique neighborhoods and delicious cuisine. The city center district is home to Melbourne's most popular attractions, including the iconic Flinders Street Railway Station, with its multiple clocks above the entrance serving as a famous meeting spot. The Eureka Tower skyscraper boasts an 88th floor observation platform that offers breathtaking panoramic views of the bay and Denong Mountain Range beyond. Visitors can even step out onto a glass enclosed compartment for an even more thrilling experience. Number 9. The Whitsunday Islands Located off the northeastern coast of Queensland, the Whitsunday Islands are a favorite tourist destination in Australia. The archipelago is surrounded by warm and inviting aquamarine waters and is part of the Great Barrier Reef. More on that later. Most of the islands are within national parks, so there is an abundance of stunning scenery and picturesque beaches. The Whitsundays are great for snorkeling and scuba diving due to their rich underwater resources and colorful coral reefs. Sailing around its 74 islands and islets is also a popular activity, as well as relaxing on its sun-drenched shores. The archipelago boasts one of the world's most beautiful beaches, Whitehaven Beach. Although the Whitsunday Islands are primarily known for their natural beauty, they also have some of the oldest aboriginal archaeological sites in Australia. Number 8. Karajini National Park Karajini National Park is the second largest national park in Western Australia, located around 1,000 kilometers north of Perth, the state's capital. 
The park is centered around the Harmasley Ranges and is characterized by its mountainous terrain, stunning gorges, slot canyons, and waterfalls. The three highest peaks in Western Australia rise above the rugged landscapes of Karajini National Park, offering fantastic hiking opportunities. The narrow gorges and precipitous chasms beneath them are awful great for exploring. The semi-arid terrain features hidden waterholes and sparkling waterfalls, perfect for swimming or bathing after a dusty walk. Karajini National Park is home to more than 800 different plant species and numerous incredible wildlife species, such as wallabies, enchiladas, and red kangaroos. Number 7. Daintree Daintree is a tropical rainforest located on the northeast coast of Australia, within a national park of the same name. It is one of the oldest and most diverse rainforests in the world, boasting incredible fauna and flora and ancient ecosystems that are home to lots of wildlife. Daintree Rainforest is not just lush green rainforests, but also includes rugged mountains, teeming rivers, rich coral reef systems, and beautiful beaches. Cape Tribulation is known for having some of the best white sandy beaches in Australia. The National Park can be accessed from Cairns, which is approximately a three-hour drive away. The Inchi Rainforest offers plenty of outdoor activities for visitors to enjoy, including hiking through dense undergrowth, bird or wildlife watching, paddleboarding, ziplining through the canopy, and cruising along one of its rivers. Number 6, Sydney Sydney is a fantastic city with a lot to offer, and its modernity is balanced by its rich history. The scenic harbour has been home to the region's inhabitants for thousands of years, as well as being the landing site for convicts sent to Australia in the 1780s. Today, cruises under the Sydney Harbour Bridge and past the iconic Opera House are popular activities. For those seeking adventure, a ferry ride to Manly Wharf offers opportunities to rent kayaks and paddle through the inlets of Sydney Harbour National Park or take surf classes at Manly Beach. The Federation Cliff Walk, starting at Raleigh Reserve Park, provides stunning views of the sea, harbor, and Macquarie Lighthouse, Australia's first and longest operating lighthouse. A visit to Sydney would not be complete without touring the Sydney Opera House. Designed by Danish architect John Olsen and completed in 1973, this performing arts complex inspired by sailing ships is considered one of the world's most distinctive architectural structures. Number 5. The Great Barrier Reef The Great Barrier Reef, located in the Coral Sea off the coast of Queensland, Australia, is the largest coral reef system on Earth. Covering over 2,900 coral reefs and hundreds of islands and caves, it was formed by millions of living organisms over millions of years. Today, it is one of the most diverse and complex ecosystems in the world. While always known and used by Aboriginal Australian peoples, Today, the Great Barrier Reef is protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. It's home to a remarkable array of marine wildlife, including 1,500 fish species and 360 corals, as well as various species of whales, dolphins, marine turtles, sea snakes, and birds that breed among the small islands. You can explore the reef through numerous boat cruises that run along the northern coast of Queensland. Cairns is regarded as its main gateway, but other towns such as Townsville, Port Douglas, Yapoon, Mission Beach, and Cooktown also offer cruise operations. These boat cruises range from single day trips to multiple day voyages with stops for snorkeling and diving. Other options for experiencing the reef include underwater observatories, glass bottom boat tours, and helicopter flights. Number 4, Kings Canyon Kings Canyon is located in Watarkaka National Park in Australia's Northern Territory and is a magnificent sight to behold due to its vast size, stunning scenery, and remarkable scale. The enormous gorge is one of its main attractions in the region and was created over 400 million years ago by sandstone erosion. The colossal canyon cuts through the barren desert landscapes with walls that tower over 100 meters high. Down below there is a small creek and sparse vegetation. Whether strolling in the shade or hiking along its rim, visitors can enjoy jagged cliffs, interesting rock formations, and beautiful scenery. Kings Canyon has been an essential source of water for the Lurigita people for centuries. It was also a place of refugee and respite from the scorching sun. Even today, it remains a sacred place for them. 
Due to the harsh climate and extreme heat, it is essential to carry plenty of water while exploring or climbing around the canyon. Number 3. The Blue Mountains Located west of Sydney in New South Wales, the Blue Mountains are one of Australia's natural wonders and a must-visit destination for tourists. These majestic mountains, plateaus, and escarpments will cover a vast area and offer breathtaking views that make for an ideal day trip or weekend getaway. The mountains get their names from the misty haze produced by the oil from the eucalyptus trees that cover the region. The area is home to numerous unspoiled natural wonders and spectacular scenery. You can explore a variety of well-maintained hiking trails and mountain bike paths that lead to stunning viewpoints such as Echo Point and Govitz Leap. The Blue Mountains have been home to the Gundagra and Dark people for centuries, making it an excellent place to learn more about Aboriginal history and culture. Number 2. The Great Ocean Road The Great Ocean Road, which stretches 243 kilometers along the south coast of Victoria, is one of the most picturesque drives in the world. This highway was built by soldiers who returned from World War I and is dedicated to those who lost their lives. The road begins in Torquay, a seaside resort town near Melbourne, and ends in Allensford, a small and peaceful village. Along the way, visitors can enjoy impressive limestone sea stacks, secluded coves, and spectacular surf spots. The road also winds through lush rainforests, fertile vineyards, and endless eucalyptus forests, with charming coastal towns scattered throughout. Bells Beach is one of the most famous attractions on this route due to its incredible surfing opportunities. Another popular spot is Great Otway National Park, which boasts breathtaking natural beauty. Number 1. Kakuta National Park Kakadu National Park has been inhabited by Aboriginal people for over 40,000 years, and it is home to more than 5,000 ancient rock art sites that are fascinating to explore. The park is of immense cultural and natural significance and boasts stunning natural sites that make it a must-visit destination. The Kakadu Escarpment, in particular, is breathtaking. The park encompasses diverse ecosystems with deserted sandstone and escarpments perfect for hiking, one minute and waterfalls and pools ideal for bathing the next. Later on, visitors can learn some more about the ancient rock paintings. Although Gagadu can get very crowded, its vast area means that those who venture off the beaten path can still enjoy all the park has to offer in peace and quiet. And here is the bonus we promised. Kangaroo Island, the third largest island in Australia, is situated just off the coast of South Australia and can be reached via a 45-minute ferry ride from Cape Jarvis. It is one of the most sought-after tourist destinations in the state due to its unspoiled landscapes that are home to stunning scenery and a wealth of wildlife. Kangaroo Island's nature reserves feature vast dunes, towering cliffs, magnificent caves, and remarkable rock formations. These reserves provide habitats for cheetahs, koalas, and kangaroos, while sea lions, dolphins, and penguins can be seen offshore. The island's diverse landscape make an ideal location for outdoor activities such as hiking, sandboarding, or scuba diving. What would you like to see in the next video? Let us know in the comments and tell us about your travel experiences. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, check out our other videos for more travel tips.